In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a really unique embroidery file for the holidays. I was approached by someone who asked me about this style of design and how they could do it. And so I'm working up this video to illustrate the point. So what they did, they brought me a, a bunch of designs similar to this. Okay, uh, They didn't want to try to make it exactly like this or anything. They just want to know if they could easily create something like this in core. And I said, sure. So here's what we came up with the idea. First of all, let's just start out with um, we're going to create just this heart shape. Now we could use the uh, hearts in here, uh, you know, whatever we'd like, but it's just as easy for us just to draw it for right now. So I'm just going to uh, use the steel tool. Now this is in core titanium, so we're just going to click and drag and not being too careful to make it perfect because I don't like it dipping that much. Actually, I want to leave some room in case you want to drop a name or something in it. And there. Let's bring it down here because we might need to add to it later. All right. Let's move that out. My fault. In any case, that's a basic heart shape. And then we can adjust our width and things like that. So now what we want to do is drop in some text. All right, so our text, we're going to type Merry Christmas. And I'm going to choose a font height of about 0 0.6. And I'm using this brush pen because it kind of looks Christmassy to me. I'm going to go ahead and hide this image now because I really don't need it anymore. We messed that up, didn't I? Let's just smooth those two. There. So now what I want to do is I want to bend this text to fill that area. If you remember, it's kind of like that. With the core titanium and the platinum levels, you get a path utility. This is the path that it will follow. So if I say I want to edit this path, this baseline, I can place an end point here, a start point here, or a middle point here, and a start point here. Now I'm going to show you a trick here in a minute to, let's say I want to move this up and down this path. This can cause the text to fall on top of one another. What we can do is we can move our text up and down the line like that. But what if I want to move the beginning of it? This is a trick. See, there's no kerning at the beginning because that's the beginning of the line. But if you want to add one, you can simply click there and add a space. And now that gives you the kerning error. All right, so now... I don't like the text sitting above the line, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the center. That's it. And now I can move this back to where I want and maybe move you up a little bit. And that's pretty close to what I need. All I need to do now is join this and join that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to break up the text so that I can edit it like if it was a digitized item. And I'm going to click on this M and I'm going to get rid of that point right there. Let's just move it here and we're going to make these two align so that they're nice and straight. And we're going to get rid of this guy right here. And then I'm going to add a little point here, uh, about right here. And I'm going to take this guy and I'm move it right there. See? So now it joins up. And then we're going to do the same over here. Just going to move this in a little bit better. Pull that down. And then I'm going to take this, get rid of the middle point again. 
make the two outside ones align just because this is a straight line that's all and I'm going to put this point here and that point there and then probably take these two down a little bit and smooth that out so that it's a lot nicer transition and all we have to do is use cores magic start and end point tool to optimize it so that we can minimize the amount of trims as you see now we have a logo similar to the one and it was very simple very easy no major digitizing required thank you